but to think back a little bit to the world, I can almost understand for just a little bit how someone would be skeptical of the whole God thing. I mean, the, the whole Bible thing. I think people can be skeptical about that, how really, he'll just love me just if I say yes, if I just... Is that it? I mean, that's all I have to do. People are so we're so programmed and used to being go through all these hoops and go through all these processes and all these things and these prerequisites of things that I've got to do to become whatever it is. And God said, "There's no prerequisite. Jesus Christ paid the price. You all have to do is accept the gift." And and I think it's amazing um, that even, that I think well, I think it's amazing and all and then very so sad is that Christians will turn from God. And I'm really, really sad to say I was one of those. That we that God provided us with so much, showed us so much, gave us so much, showed his his glory and his power and his love and his forgiveness and his mercy and his grace. And we have the audacity to say, No thank you. Not anymore. You know what? Uh, I have our possible answers. Uh, one is he he's compared us to sheep and sheep are one of the dumbest animals on the planet mm. uh, we stray oh, you know? do we ever <laughs> uh, yeah I mean he even compared us to dog's vomit you know we, oh, yeah. we, we, we go back to it um, you know um, so yeah we we are um, and uh, you know where, whereas uh, Satan has taken us down he wants to take us up but, you know, we like it down here. We like it, you know, we want to be mired in the muck, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, they don't, they, you know, they uh, forgive them. Mm -hmm. For they don't know, you know, they don't know the deception. They don't know the game. They don't know the plan. See? Mm -hmm. and, and see, that's, he wants to keep you stupid. Yeah. And as long as he can keep you stupid and, uh, you know, you you got your beer commercial mentality, or you got your you know your head is over here, and you know you're doing that, and you're doing anything that would keep you um, from the truth. Anyway, we kept them in suspense long enough. What happened to the old guy, the seventy year old guy that you never approached? What happened? Yeah, I don't know. You'll never know because you never went over there. No, I'll never know. I, re I regret that. I think about that quite often. Can I, can, I, can I give you a spiritual spanking? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> okay. You know what? You know what, brother? Uh, Lord, we pray you look after that old man that lost his wife, and we don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. We don't, but you know, we pray you you know comfort that that man, Lord, and uh, it's a missed moment. Yeah. But you know what? We've got to be heads up. We have to be alert and let our heart, let the Lord work work on that heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, hold us, Lord. We love you. In Christ's name, always. Man, this is awesome. Yeah. I love this. I'm glad we did this. Yeah, well, I'm glad you did. I know I talked to you. I think I got you on the, on the chat. Back when I first started with the Edge, and you said something, I don't know what the comment was. You typed in the chat, and I said you should call in at the end of the show. And I remember you telling me this. So I do remember I speaking out. It says I don't like the way my voice sounds, so I'm not going to call in. <laughs> and I don't know why. Well, but that sticks well, in my you mind. Know, you did it before. You did it before. I, you know, you know that's what I'm saying. You, you are, you know, about you know being a correspondent, and and, and you know that's what I'm saying. You know, uh, it's like that one night, all of a sudden they got the flood of calls. Mm hmm You know? And, but you know, th this, this is the deal. Um, I was gonna say about you, I, I don't know that you should be pastoring in a church. Mm -hmm. I think you're more where you're at, and, and maybe in a small, in a small, keep it simple, keep it simple, and do home study. Mm hmm uh, go to a home thing. You don't want to be into a uh, you know organization type of thing. Sure. Uh, a hierarchy where you have a hierarchy mm -hmm. where you're uh, you get see what you get. What happens? You get sucked in. Oh, I know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you get and the way the system is set, like the way it used to see in 
a church or what there's another church but you don't want to get sucked into that and before you know it so you lose yourself in that mm-hmm. absolutely it, or but it is just not about him it's about oh what you can it's like getting get, get, get it get it get it you know you want to get it you mm-hmm. know get whatever it is you're trying to get and uh, it's all you know you're chasing what are you chasing mm-hmm. who is anybody what is anybody chasing right the only thing is is what, what you need to walk you walk and you live you live Christ let him abide in you you abide in him mm-hmm. um, the other thing is too is uh, I see uh, you know I really do I see I see the edge but I, I think your experience is prepared you for the inevitable inevitable mm-hmm. you guys are going to be a target you're going to be the edge is going to be a target it already has so, been in some respects yeah Right. I don't want you to be surprised. You, no, you're going to reach uh, this 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 program. The Lord has blessed it, and He's going to take it. I mean, He's going to reach a lot of people with this program. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the uh, but I have to tell you right now. I've already said it to Daniel already. I think I said it in the chat. I don't know where I said it, but uh, uh, the New World Order, the order, the Stooges, uh, New World Order. Uh, they're going to shut you guys down, or what they do is to send some uh, propaganda in there mm-hmm. and a mole or something, because they got it. They have. Um, see, that's going to sound nutty, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, no. It, well, I mean, to someone listening outside in, it probably probably would sound kind of nutty. But you know what? We've. Uh, I believe uh, you sent me an email. Um, uh, I don't know. Was the Did one I you sent me. Him? We're not going to name. What? We're not going to name names, and I, I, I'm not name names. But, but uh, you sent me an email back, and and me and you know the content of that email, and I think another person I'm ta- person I'm talking about, um, yeah. that is uh, that we no longer with us, and we saw into that, um, and um, so I believe well, it's our, it? uh, yeah, it's yeah. You'll you'll if you visit the website, you know you'll you'll see the the change. Um, oh, that we, okay. That no, I'm telling you, this was I don't know after I told you or before. But I sensed, uh, well, what it was, it's not, I said the Lord. See, that's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll, you know, like you were telling you about that, the, the gentleman being about being, what it is is compassion and understanding. Mm-hmm. And, and I think, I, I think, I think this. Uh, the Lord, we're going to do exploits. Now, he can't use you if you're not one with him. Mm-hmm. You can't use you because they, one can't work against the other. You have to work for the Lord. You have to be malleable. You have to be pliable so that He can, um, um, you know, he, you have to glorify the Lord. Absolutely, in everything we do. Well, thank you, Lord. You answered the prayer. I wish, you know, um, I just think that. Um, I'm sometimes amazed. I think I, I took the pause because uh, uh, well, I think it's it, a, it, 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 go ahead. Sorry. Well, I was just going to. I just was just thinking a piece of scripture that um, I look. I like First uh, Thessalonians chapter five. It's one of my favorite chapters in the in the Bible because it has a lot of really short verses, some more than just a couple three words because. Uh, and but they, those smaller verses sometimes speak of volumes and volumes and volumes of truth. Uh, and when I was thinking of you're talking about, uh, the, you know, um, glorifying the Lord, uh, something that we do not do, uh, and as Christians, is that First uh, Thessalonians five sixteen says, "Rejoice evermore." Um, and evermore means always. Uh, and when you rejoice through the difficult times as well as through the the uh, times that are great and uplifting and, and you know things are going well you glorify God as a great example as a, um, of what a Christian is supposed to be when you when you're constantly in constant thanks to the Lord for everything um, I'll tell you a little joke is <laughs> uh, it, it's it's kind of funny uh, but yet it speaks volumes of truth as well there's this lady that was uh, down her luck she was a christian and she's having troubles with meeting bills and so forth and so on and this guy next door was an atheist was an atheist and he kept coming across and uh, and he knew she's having difficult times 
and she would come out in the day, and and he would see her, he would see her on the porch. And says, "Well, where's your God now?" He says, "You're, you're, 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 you know, having troubles paying your bills. We know."